previously in our love-hate relationship with comic culture. Do believe Hank and Scott are going to die. I believe that wholeheartedly. And I think we might see Reed. In Ant-Man? Yep. Maybe. Maybe. Yo, yo, I'm Mickey Fax. Y'all Tat Wizard. I'm Pete Rock. And this is our love-hate relationship with comic culture. That's all good. Joined each and every week by my brothers, Tat and Pete Rock, as we debate all things Marvel and DC comic culture. And today... Today, 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 today is a day that I've been waiting for since Friday. I cannot wait to talk about Ant Man. Actually, Ant Ant Man. Ant Ant Man and the Wasp. Wait, wait, wait. Quantum Mania. Did you watch it? Yo, come on, man. You can't dump it. Nah, I'll be fair to you. I'll be fair. I'll be. No, I'm no, waiting. Let's, let's start off there. Let's start right there. Pete, why haven't you gone to see Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania? Because I've heard stuff about it. I'm just going to wait for it to come out on demand or something. You, you feel like it's not your, worth your time already? Not, not from what I'm hearing. <laughs> just so everyone is clear, I offered to give Pete $5 for $5 hey. Tuesday to go and watch Word. Quantumania. He shut me down. I asked for his cash out. Need he did not send you know money. what? I was in the studio, my bro. I got an excuse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't need your money. He wants to see it. I'm right. He wants to see it. But <laughs> you should see it now. Well, what have you heard, Pete? Okay, I've, I've just heard that it wasn't good. It was a lot of jokes. It was like over the top jokes. Pete, have you seen the other Ant-Man? I, hold on. I already know about the first Ant Man. I know how Paul Rudd engaged himself in the character, and today it's just you know comic book jokey. That's what it's about. You know, you got to throw some little humor in the in the movies. I don't think it needs it, but you know what I'm saying. And so what I'm hearing about Quantum Mania just really kind of made me sad, man. Okay, you know what? I feel like. Marvel has has been striking out. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, I, I I can't argue with you on that. Um, so you know, I, I'm listen. Tat, 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 tat. Yeah, yeah I'm here. I'm here. I'm what, black. Air what Force do you one. give? What do you give Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania on a scale of one to ten? All right. So, can I can I say something? No. All of the and I feel like are there to set things up. No Ant-Man is an eight or a nine. Ant-Man himself does well in the whole universe and his story is good. But the movie overall is, is, is like an in-between movie. Every Ant-Man has been for me a seven, 7.8. This I give a 7.5. Now, with context of Jonathan Majors is a 10. That alone makes me love this movie. I will go back to watch this movie to see what Jonathan Majors did. Paul Rudd did what Paul Rudd does with Scott Lang. There's no surprise there, so I wasn't upset about it. I get it. Y'all don't like the jokes. I hear you. But for me, it's a good movie experience. And this was a good movie. We started off phase five strong as fuck. And I know what your argument is getting ready to be, Mickey. And I'm I'm not going to spoil it and jump in with my response now. Go ahead. <laughs> listen, listen. Yo, I'm giving this movie a six out of ten. Okay? And I have a... I have a so, first of all, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Pete doesn't care. I don't, I don't care. Know. Yeah. I don't know if Tom saw this movie or not. Tom, did you see this movie? I have not seen it, and if you're about to spoil it for me, I'm going to Tom, close well, you, my ears. You knew what this was. Close your ears, bro. Take, take your headphones out your ears, because I'm about to spoil yeah. it. Spoiler alert. Okay, check this out. 
Check this out, man. I have a couple of gripes with this movie. The first gripe that I have with this movie is that it was the first hour was pointless. It was pointless. Mm. I did not like the first hour of the movie. I did not care about where, how they got to the quantum realm. I hated the fact that they kept not saying who Kang was. Like, no. This is what should have happened. I love Infinity War. I'm not sure. I, I know Pete doesn't like it. I love Infinity War. And okay. honestly, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, should have been like Infinity War from the perspective of Kang. Infinity War focused on Thanos. Hmm. Infinity War focused on Thanos. The first film in Phase 5, you want to be... Uh, uh, like I Infinity wanted it to War. focus... That Let me finish. I wanted it to focus on movies. I wanted it to focus on Kang. Okay, he's he's gonna be the the big catch of the what whole. What about big Kang screen, Dynasty? But... That's to come. What you want that to do? I want that to be what Kang Dynasty is clearly going to be about the multiple council of Kangs. That's clearly what it's going to be. But we should have gotten a, a a strong backstory of Kang. Who Kang is where he came from, what year, how did he get to where he was? We just know he just crash landed on a, on, in, in fucking the quantum like, it's realm. It's like it's an introduction almost, right? Like just an introduction. Right. It should have, the movie should have you know been. people a, that did Loki, right? The, mo the movie should have been about Kang, Ty. It should not have been about Ant-Man and the Wasp. It should have been about Kang. Same movie. Right? Not if the, it was only about Kang, y'all would have oh, said, yo, the movie. movie wasn't nothing right. about Ant-Man in there. No, I wouldn't have complained about Ant Man because the reason why is because he got good Kang, screen time. He got good Kang, screen time. Kang was the highlight of this movie, right or wrong? Yeah. Okay. What's the problem? Pete didn't even me. see it. Pete didn't see it, and he knows no. that Jonathan Majors as Kang was the highlight of this What's movie. The problem. The second half of the movie, when he was, when any time he was on the screen, he commanded respect. Everybody, no jokes. He didn't tell one joke because nothing was funny. Nothing was funny about what was about to happen. So you are now and understand the juxtaposition of Ant Man. Let being me a little... finish, Tat. All right, go ahead. I'm, I'm Tat, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, let me get my gripes ahead, out because you got right, you got right, your, your happy, right. happy joy, joy out. So the movie should have been about Kang. Mm -hmm. The first half of the movie, eh, right? They should have just got rid of that, right? Jonathan Majors was excellent. Pure excellence. He was a 10 out of 10. I, me and Tat agree on that. He was a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I don't like the fact that Kang has seemingly been defeated. Say that again? That, what's that word? I'm not going to... Seemingly... Yeah. Been defeated, not killed. Well, he got he he was killed by by uh, the Loki variant by two white women. We see a powerful black villain on screen, right. and a white woman killed <sighs> or defeated him twice. How am I supposed to be invested in a character that got beat twice? He's supposed to be this big bad villain who killed Thor, who killed multiple Avengers, and loses or dies to Ant Man and the Wasp. Really, the Wasp. Speak on it, Speak on it my nigga. This to me is egregious. I hated to see S Sylvie kill this He Who Remains. We let that we we excused her killing him and he who in in Loki mm. we excused it because it's it jump started everything. Mm. You build up Kang to be this fantastic villain, better than Thanos, only to lose to ants that were quote unquote sped up, evolved and and, evolved. and, and mutated or whatever. And, um, and I was hyped off the trailer, bro, by Jonathan Majors. I was hyped. And he and he 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 gets beat up by Ant Man, mm. and then gets hit with like some blasting from fucking the Wasp, 
and then he's destroyed. Terrible, horrible, disgusting. I'm sorry. The only reason why this doesn't get a 2 out of 10 is because of Jonathan Majors. That is my rant. What is your rebuttal? Tack, whistle. <laughs> you niggas is funny. So, <laughs> do you know who Kang is? Do you know that his powers, powers are technology? And that's what we saw. His suit got fucked up. So, he lost his power. What power does Kang have against an Ant-Man who's a veteran at this, knows what he's doing, smart himself. Y'all sleeping on him because he does some street shit and did a little criminal. He's but the motherfucker scientist. smart is a dad. His daughter was in trouble. He has some extra fucking adrenaline in the system and niggas can't beat somebody that got on some fucking Nintendo power gloves that can't fucking, that went wrong. Man, what are you talking about? He is a big bad. That's the point. The season of the villain is here. But it's not just the big bad that we're dealing with that we regularly know. He's all powerful because he knows how to manipulate time. And that's what got disrupted when he got banished to the quantum verse, quantum realm, whatever. And he didn't have his chair. He had his suit. And that's how he was able to subjugate all the people in, in the quantum realm and create a massive army that he was trying to take with him because the technology was his power. That got disrupted when some real motherfucking heroes stepped on the scene. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's, he's getting his rocks off right now, bro. And I can't really speak. I can't say much. He did not get killed by... Two white women or whatever. He who remains that, gave up. He said, I'm that part tired I did. and I'm ready to go. Like they couldn't have fucking like beat him if he didn't do that. So that theory, window, goodbye. Tat, you done? Man, well, the way Mickey said it and the way you're saying it now is just like, I ain't gonna like that part when I see it. When I watch this movie, I'm this. I'm, I know what y'all see. Loki, uh, the ending, the season ending of Loki. Yeah. So that's the part with the Sylvie that we're talking about. The rest, yeah. I don't know. You she may like it him. because we don't know that Kane got killed. He got defeated, okay. yes, but he didn't okay. get he got, maybe okay, killed. Listen. Plus, but, but plus, I hear what we're saying. As as talk, as let's go for white. it. You know, we really he gets saw defeated by the council of Kangs, and y'all niggas is saying, "I'm the Tom, Tom, two white women on Tom, screen." Title this show: Kang got killed by two white women. <laughs> That's Done. the title. Done. You had the title. I, I'm, that already. Fuck. That already got me disinterested. I'm just letting you know. Listen, Kang did not I, get killed I, by I, two white women, people. I mean, if you want to go by what you said, said that's listen, listen. watching it for yourself. Pete, Pete okay. saw. Hey, hey, Pete saw. I saw the trailer. Get stabbed. That's yeah, I did see that. let me tell you. That's one white me, woman let, stabbing and killing me tell you who remained. Y'all was bound to not like the movie from the door. Chat. And I can let me give you why. examples based off this podcast. Did well, you, you not, not say? say Last week. Don't say it. Oh, I think Reed's going to show up. <laughs> you better not. I'm telling you, Tap. No, I ain't saying, I ain't Don't do that. I ain't saying that. But did Mickey not he, say last week, I think Reed's going to show up? Did he not say that? Yeah, he did. I, he did. I wasn't Was that disappointed not an that expectation he expectation that is impossible to come back unless it happens? <laughs> I, I did, I, I, that's his. That's his crew, though. That's his. That's his people. Too. He didn't show, when you I wasn't, give yourself that expectation, you setting yourself up for failure. Tat, yeah. tat. He, he, him not showing up has no bearing on my rating of the movie. But you was already has in your no mind like this thing movie. should happen this way somewhere else. No, I mean All that's I, his idea. That's you know I have ideas. You have a, yeah, yeah, I, I would have liked. I, no, I mean the the movie wasn't good. Tat like. The oh, fact the that the movie wasn't a ten, I give you that. The movie wasn't, wasn't great. Bad though, man. It was it was mid. It was mid. It was mid. It was the mid. movie. Was I mid. guess in a sense, right? If if seven is a mid, 
Because you said 6.5. Like, it's the same shit. If that's mid, then it's I supposed to be. You, it's the beginning of the said, phase. You said 7.5. I'm saying 6. Now, what I will say, Tat, to your, to your point, I think Ant-Man and the Wasp, the second movie, is better than the third movie. I kind of like Kang? the second one. The second movie to me is better than the With third. With Kang in the third, I like. But you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you know, do that for a new, a, a third movie with such a dope ass actor and a and a great villain to sum up the whole movie. He was great. He was he was a he was a great second part of that movie. He was a, he he made the but, listen. People were, people were groaning in the movie theater because. We were waiting for Kang. And when he showed up, he delivered. But it took an hour, Tat. It took an hour long, bro. I hate when they do It didn't that. take an hour because you saw him in the first five minutes. Now, did it make you Yo, guess? Tat. Wait, did it make you guess where is he? where he's at now? Yeah. But it wasn't an hour before they got back to the quantum, ver- quantum Yo, tat, realm. Tat. I forget what it is. Tat. Whatever. And then... Tap. You saw all of the different pieces. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna give you two things I could have did without in the movie. I could have did without Bill Murray. I love Bill Murray. Yes, I agree. But he showed up. At- you know, and I know the story. He asked the Cassie if he could the new Cassie if he could get in. They gave him a part. It would have been somebody else's part. It makes sense. But it didn't. It didn't wow me. It was like, all right, you you did what you did. You you flipped. On, on Shorty, and then you showing she got a track record in that realm, whatever. She was there 30 years. It's going to happen. Um, but now my gripe that brings it down for me, from for sure. Modoc. Yeah, let's, let's hear that. Let's hear your bad side. To no, this. it's Modoc. Mickey just said it. Okay. I was like, Modoc. this is not good. It didn't look like Dan the Cross. It didn't look like Modoc. It died. Wow. It just, it had bad jokes. It just was, I mean, it, it had great action because of, you know, what it's MODOK stands for. It was really fucking some shit up, but it was like, you could have did so much more with this. And then now it's dead. Like, well, it's not hard to make MODOK look like MODOK I mean, with CGI. I mean, it's really not I mean, hard. But you know what, though? In the real, I don't know that, dude. I we, that might be difficult. You know, it it might be it looked- all right. Somebody may say, "Oh, it's it's not hard to make beats," but then they can't make beats mm-hmm. on your level, right? So yeah, it may not be hard to make something okay. in CGI, but it may not be easy to make it on the level that we're gonna accept from Moda. Got you. So this goes back to why I don't like Iron Man. Pete, right? In the MCU. In the MCU. Right? Because Hank made Ultron. Mm -hmm. Why is Yellow Jacket also MODOK? And then why they change the whole of 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 of, you know who you just said in um Ultron movie. Right. But 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 Hank, Hank made Ultron? Hank made Ultron in the comics. In the comics. In the but comics. Iron Man makes him in the MCU. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Why did they have Iron Man make him? Right. It should have been Hank. Now, Hank's attitude would have worked well with Ultron's attitude in the same exact movie. Mm-hmm. So that should have been done. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, also... But you don't like this that movie? Hank has leveling up evolving ants that can defeat armies because they develop their own technology. You don't like that part. That I hate that. I Why? hated that so much. It was it was it was a cop out. It was a cop out. It was a cop out. I did not like that. I did not like it. So so ants can develop ten thousand years in advance and going I also, mean if they can go through the fuck if they can shrink to a microscopic size that puts them in the quantum realm, why the fuck not? The right. juice ju- yo tat, the juice that they drunk, it was for them to It was a translator. Hear English, right? It was a translator. It was only a translator. Well, it was one of the organism's blood. Okay. So let me ask you this question then, Tat. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, they needed special suits to go into the quantum realm. 
Why did they not have no, special suits when they, they died? They did not need and, special and suits to, to go them? into the quantum realm. The special suits that were their suits could go into the quantum realm if the regulator was fucked up and kept shrinking them to the point that they went into the quantum realm. They didn't need special sh- suits to go into the quantum realm. That's just how they ended up okay. getting there. But the special suits came in Ant-Man 1 or 2. I can't remember. Two. Well, it came it in two. 1. It wasn't special suits. No. And then, wait, special suits? No, it was just their suits. There's no special. I the mean, only special were, suit was in Endgame when they went time traveling. So then how was, how was Hank? Hank? No, they, he had a suit on. How did Hank? How was Hank able to just get into the into the quantum realm? He didn't have a suit. Remember on. they Everybody developed. Remember that they put one in the, the the minivan when they was doing the time travel shit. They developed the thing that could go into the quantum realm. Now in this instance, what happened was Cassie developed a a satellite where she was trying to look into the quantum realm in order to map it out and see shit. And Modoc picked up on the signal and sucked them in. Hmm. I hate this movie. Man, you, uh, how you hate this movie? Probably though? Been a little better the way from what I'm hearing. I I hate this movie. I Jonathan Majors. I mean, Jonathan, if you if you're listening, you are too good for Marvel. Oh, yes, you're too good for Marvel. You are too good of an actor for this. When he was on screen, it wasn't even. It was like he was acting with amateurs. It wasn't even close. Wow, it was. It was. It was ridiculous. See this man. It was ridiculous. I wouldn't say. I mean, he he, he was on. He, screen. I can't argue right to the point like he was phenomenal and he was wow. the best actor wow. in the spot. I mean, he's, but he's, I would he's, never he's, say that Paul Rudd can't act. I would never say that Paul Michelle Rudd, Pfeiffer Paul can't act. Great. I would never say uh, Michael great. Douglas can't act. Um, Michael Douglas I forget is great. what uh, great. what hopes. Uh, gov- they all great, but she's all right. But, but I mean, but yes, listen, he was above them. This in movie the that he brought a real villain to Ant Man, which is not known for like you know they had fucking Yellow Jacket, who it turns out to be Modoc, right? They had Ghost. They're villains, but it's like, oh, you know, I'll take this Scooby Doo episode a little bit. But okay. Hang Tell is a fucking first hour, like Avenger out. level <laughs> villain, right? So that in, in Ant Man is a difference. The showing of the juxtaposition of here's the jokey um Ant Man that you're used to versus here's this real motherfucker that you gotta get used to. And yeah, Yo. to get himself out of the situation, he got sucked into something. We don't know if he's good, but it doesn't matter because there's a whole fucking tribe of these motherfuckers that seem a lot more aggressive they, waiting in. They're they all going to lose to white women. They're all going to lose to white women. All those gangs are going to lose to white women. All of the gangs are going to lose to white women. All of them. I have no faith in Ken. What kind of move is that, though? It's nasty I mean, work. Nasty work. Right. Now, listen. Y'all so busy now listen, when it seeing comes... the connective tissue and not caring about it. Oh, boy. Here you, you go. Really see tension. what's happening in the movie that yeah. you're watching. I'm calling you. I'm going, I'm going off of fumes and feedback, bro. I, I ain't see it yet, so I'm going <laughs> to see it. When I do, I'll have a, my, a better perspective in the next episode of this movie. Your, your, your name is Tat, Tat Tendon. Now, listen. When you, because this con- connective tissue shit, you're not gonna, you can't keep using that tat as a, as a it would have been funny if you just said tap them. Tap them. <laughs> so listen, right? When we think about comic, gr- the some of the greatest comic Wait, book movies. Y'all don't of like connective time. tissue now? That's what you're telling me? Oh, come on, Tat. When we That's think about the greatest mo- comic book movies of all time, I really want to name an issue, uh, an episode connected tissue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well then let let it let it rip. Right? Listen, listen. Infinity War. It's about Thanos. That's why that movie's so great. The Dark Knight. It's about Joker, right? That's why the movie's so great. Infinity War was also great because all of the pieces that they were giving you for the last 20 movies 
We're starting to fucking make it was great be- go. No, it was great because we finally got a great villain out of the MCU. You said finally? Finally, yes. Before that, okay, we had Killmonger. We had Killmonger. Cool. But Thanos was better, is a better villain than Killmonger. Right or wrong? Who? Thanos. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. It's more powerful for sure. Oh, yeah. So that was, was he was a great villain. He was an incredible villain. Gone bad. He wasn't a villain. Marvel had a Marvel has had a, a villain problem. Thanos the King is here and y'all the solo crazy. movies. If they're making solo movies for villains, dude. Who who, who fucking does that? You guys, you the guys the villains listen, are here. That is, is giving this yeah, thing. not to do solo movies. They have to be introduced with the hero they came with, man. They can't do nothing different from how you know it. No, that, 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 come that. on, That's man. This is a whole you know what? Thing. Why is it gotta this be? Is why is it? Why is it gotta be changed? But the young motherfuckers don't know the old story. Well, why are you changing? Okay, then maybe they go back or not. Go back, man, and just re-enhance that shit, man. I'm listen, telling listen. you, it makes more sense to do it that way than. Then the way it's being done, I can't stand what they're doing, man. I, I I listen. I'm with I'm with Pete, and you know what? Let's 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 see let's see. There's somebody out there, right? We have a fan question right now that kind of is in alignment with what Pete and how Pete feels, potentially. Potentially, this, we do have this, we do have a listener question. Go ahead. You want you want to take you want to take it away, Tom? Yeah. Th- this week's listener's question: the Ron T, the Ron T. Thank you. It says I'm not a fan of Paul Red. Paul Rudd as Ant Man. Do you guys agree? And if so, who would be a better fit? Mm. The Ron, so, Deron Smith, Deron T. Shout out to Deron. That's for me. I actually like Paul Rudd as Ant Man. I'm kind of used to him now. Yeah, I think I think that's what mm-hmm. it is too, Pete. And I also feel like I feel like maybe I wish we would have gotten Michael uh, Michael Douglas as the original Ant Man. I think that would have been better. Is story. the original Ant Man? It's just we didn't get a story about the original right, Ant-Man. right. We got some. Scenes I agree, but places. I, I like right. Paul Rudd. I like you Paul like Rudd. Paul Rudd. I Ant-Man. like Paul Scott Rudd. Scott Lang Ant-Man, is a yeah. good Ant Man, and Paul Rudd is yeah, Scott he's, Lang. He's, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm going I'm to throw one out at you that I would suggest. Who? Who? Adrian Brody. Hmm. Adrian Brody. What did he no. uh, play? What did he play? Give me he some movies. Bullet. He was in Bullet. He was in a bunch of stuff. King Kong. Yeah. For- oh yeah, yeah. I like Adrian. He would, but he I don't wouldn't know have if- been a better Scott Lang than than Paul. He would have not been throwing as many jokes around. That right. that would be great. He'd have mm-hmm. been look, trying. To <laughs> you see, for- you, you know see that's no, no no actors know when they feel uncomfortable on doing things a certain way, and they'll they'll. They'll, you know, they'll like, they'll be like, look, I want to take this role seriously, man. I don't want to be acting like a clown. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's, you know, we need to look for actors like that. Jonathan Masters. This might not even be his best movie that's coming out this month. I'll end Mm. with that. But Jonathan Majors. Well, that was free. Jonathan Majors. Majors. Masters, yeah. majors, majors, masters. He's in a body. He's a man. He's high end. He earned his he's, career. He's, he's, for sure. he's good. He's but, too but good. He's definitely you know going to kill that creed. He's going to kill whatever he does. Did y'all even see Devotion? No, I saw Lovecraft Country, though. Fire. Love Country. That was crazy. That? that was a crazy was series. That what was with was uh, what's the name sister in it, right? Uh, ju- uh what's Jesse Jer- Jerry uh, Smollett, yep. Yeah, Jesse Smollett. Yeah, his sister who plays uh Black Canary in DC. Mm. Jesse and I have the same birthday. That's crazy. That's nasty work. Well, listen, man, <laughs> that's our show. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys follow our love-hate relationship with Common Culture. And send us your thoughts, man, through Instagram. Make sure you share this with your peoples. Right. Love what it is that we're doing at Common Culture Podcast. Let us know what you think. 
the show. And please subscribe on Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts. Leave us a rating on Apple and spread the word. Yeah. Word, word. Until next week, I'm Mickey Fax. I'm Pete Rock. That wizard. Excelsior. Our love hate relationship with comic culture is produced by Spaceman World Media. Follow the show on Insta at Comic Culture Podcast.